All right, today we're going to talk about how do you read the data sheet of a Zener diode. Um, and so we have a 1N5230, and so that comes on a single page here with multiple of devices. And I have highlighted here the uh, 1N5230. Um, That's the 4.7 volt uh, one. This goes between 2.4 and 11 volts. Um, but there are some ones that apply to all of them. That is the power dissipation. Like I said, it was 500 milliwatts, so it's a half a watt part. Um, and if you get it hotter than 75 C, then you need to apply a, a, a different correction factor. All right. So uh, there's point there's uh, four milliwatts per degree C uh, derating that for that storage temperature fine uh, maximum junction temperature 200 degrees C that's the junction temperature very hard thing to measure but but right right at the die itself 200 C the lead temperature is easier to measure um, one sixteenth inch from the case out here for ten seconds. So you can measure that with your uh, thermal camera. Surge power, 10 watts. So you can pulse these things, but uh, the, the DC uh, power dissipation is half a watt. Okay, so let's take a look at our part here. Um, so it gives us some, some numbers here. First of all, it gives us the voltage, the Zener voltage, okay? And it's the Zener voltage at what current, right? And here you can see it's being tested at uh, 20 milliamps. So at 20 milliamps, it's supposed to be 4.7. It also gives us this number here, ZZ. What is ZZ? This is the impedance of the device at the uh, voltage and the and and these two ratings. These all go together. And what does 19 ohms mean? Well, we'll get to we'll get to that. I'll show you how to calculate that. The next thing is um, at a different. So this is at 20 milliamps. What if it's only a quarter of a milliamp? This is 0.25 milliamps. Well, then the the Z, this ohmage, goes up to 1900. Well, what does that mean? And we'll get to that. Um, and then we can go to this one, uh, which is uh let's see here at two microamps we have two volts all right so that seems kind of strange too all right so let's take a look at all those things and then there's a, a delta temperature how far does the voltage move uh with a change in temperature and it's 0 0.03 percent per degree c all right so if you have a 10 degree shift then it's 0.3% change in voltage. Okay, uh, let's see here. And then it also gives, way down here, almost missed it, the forward voltage. That's using the diode like a real diode in the forward direction. It says it's a maximum of 1.1 volts at 200 milliamps, okay? All right, so let's go take a look at our diode that we have. All right, so remember this is the Zener, this is the forward direction, we're at one volt per division, so at about 0.7 volts it's going up, and then uh, it will Zener on us, okay? So one, two, three, four, and 0.7, so here's our Zener diode, okay? All right, so I showed the reverse direction kind of flipped and upside down, that might have confused you, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in its correct orientation here and uh, so there we go um, so it's still going to be in the reverse direction and go in the down direction so maybe that will help uh, alleviate some confusion okay so here's one volt two volts three volts four volts and 0.47 volts we're at two milliamps per division so two four six eight ten two four six eight ten so that's 20 milliamps so this is how the device is tested 20 milliamps uh, current and it's measuring 4.7 negative 4.7 volts right so yeah so there we go all right and then there was that other one that was measuring at what was that at a quarter amp yeah at a quarter milliamp 0.25 milliamps so let's change our scale uh, to 100 microamps that's 0.1 milliamps right so 0 0.1 0.2 0.25 is like that all right, and let's go further. So it's 
0.1 milliamp, 0.2 milliamp, 0.25 milliamps, okay? So at 0.25 milliamps, it said that we had 1900 ohms. And what is 1900 ohms? Well, that's actually the slope of the line, okay? So the straighter the line, the less resistance, and the more slopey the line, the more the resistance, right? And then the last measurement was at two microamps. Two microamps, wow, okay? Two microamps. And we're getting a lot of uh, capacitance, so we get those loops in there when we have a lot of capacitance because we're very, very low. And it says it's uh, two volts. So you can see there that we're about uh, one volt, yeah, one volt, two volts, about 2.2 2 .2 volts is what this one is measuring, right? So, yeah, so you say, whoa, that curve looks like the same. Yeah, but we're at two microamps per division. That's two, four, six, eight. Here's 10 microamps per division. Um, so yeah, these things, even though you think they're not conducting in the reverse direction. They're actually leaking a little bit in the reverse direction. So that's what these measurements are for. All right, so what I've done is I've taken a picture of the screen, take it into a photo editing program and then inverted it. So we have dark lines, it just saves on, t saves on toner. I don't want to print a black page, so we have a, we have a line here. So this is the one at two milliamps. So this is the 20 milliamps here. And so we're at 500 millivolts per division. So again, one, two, three, four, four and a half, 4.7, okay? And then the other picture I have is the one where we had uh, 50 microamps. So this is one, two and a half, 0.25 milliamps. This is the 0.25 milliamp one, right? All right. So. Uh, the reason that I'm printing this out is because we're now we're going to take a look at these weird, what does it mean to be 19 ohms? And what does it ne ne mean to be 1900 ohms? What is ohms? All right, so let's talk about that. Let me get a pen out. All right, well, what is ohms? Okay, so we know that uh, voltage equals current times resistance, okay? And... Um, so we can also say uh, delta, uh, delta voltage equals uh, a delta current, delta R, right? So uh, you can look at a slope, right? Um, if things are changing, you can, look at, you can look at the slope, all right? So... Um, Another way to take a look at this would be R equals voltage divided by current, okay? So this is rise, this is run, okay? A run over rise, doesn't matter. It's a, it's a ratio, right? So this is X divided by Y, Y divided by X, whatever. It's a slope, slope of the line is gonna be this. So if we have a slope of the voltage and we have a slope of the current, we can, we can measure some resistance Okay, I know that's not making any sense, but let me show you on a drawing here. All right, so uh, here's one of those drawings. So this curve uh, starts out, and no matter where you are on the curve, there is some tangent to that curve, right? And so the slope is changing, okay? And it keeps changing, keeps changing, keeps changing. And the further we go down, it keeps changing, keeps changing, it kind of turns into a, a vertical line. But at the measured, parameter, we're going to measure this one, at 0.25 milliamps, it says it's 1900 ohms. So here we are, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 milliamps, because that's 250 microamps, okay? Uh, I can, by eyeball, I can draw a line. What is the slope right here at the final point? And I've drawn a line. I said, yeah, that's sort of our slope at that line there. That's the tangent at this curve that we have here, okay? And then I can say, okay, here's a line. I can look at rise over run and I can determine something. So what is my, what is my delta voltage, okay? And I can measure from 
this point to this point, how how far did the voltage go over? It started, uh, let's see here, it started about here, and it went way over to there, right? How far, how far is that, right? And uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I don't think I calculated this right. I did not calculate this right. So anyway, we can do it again. Um, so we have... Um, This little delta there, if I move this little delta over here, it'll be easier to calculate, right? So if we start here and we follow that slope, we're about here, okay? So we've started here and we've gone to here. So this is our delta X or our delta voltage, okay? So that's our delta voltage. And what's our delta current? Well, our delta current is the whole, the whole way, our line goes from here to here. So this is wrong. Okay, so we have um, volts over current equals resistance. So what's our volts? Our volts is this. So it's 500 plus a little bit. So it's 500 plus about 300. So it's about 800. So we have about 800 millivolts. And then how much current did we have? Well, we had uh, for the, um, the whole thing, okay, from here to here, we have, um, 50 microamps times 10, so 500 microamps. So 500 microamps, okay? So that's our rise, and this is our run, okay? And then we can calculate this. So let's get out a calculator. This is making sense to you guys. All right. So we have 800 millis and we have 500 micros. We have 1600 ohms. 1600. Okay. And what's the data sheet say? 1900. So I've drawn in 1900 here. <laughs> this is 1900, this is 1600. So it's a little bit, a little bit straighter than the uh, spec. So it's beating the spec or uh, the part's a little bit better than what the data sheet says, okay? So that's that one, all right? Let's take a look at the other number. So that's how we got this 1900. That they, they did this measurement sometime and they said, ah, we're just gonna publish 1900. That was the measurements we made back when and this is for a Fairchild part. Maybe the parts we have aren't Fairchild. Maybe there's a different number, but that's where that 1900 comes from. And then this one here, it says it's 19 ohms, much, much lower. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at that one. Okay, so here's the other one. So remember the other one is two milliamps per division now. So from here to here is 20 milliamps. So we're going down 20 milliamps, okay? So we have the rise over the run again. If I draw in that line kind of by I, I say that our delta, our delta voltage is only about 100 millivolts, about a, about a fifth of the way of one of those divisions. So we have 100 millivolts divided by 20 milliamps. That's the whole thing here. I get five ohms, okay? And so uh, instead of the uh, 19 ohms that's on the data sheet, I'm measuring five ohms much, much better. All right, you want low ohms, okay? Zener diodes are better with low ohms because then a delta doesn't make, make as much difference because um, you're gonna, um, anyway, it's better, right? Um, so there you go, this is what 19 ohms looks like and we have five ohms, which is much, much better. All right. All right, there you go. So that's how you read a Zener diode data sheet. Um, yeah, let's go over that one more time. We have a 5230. Uh, the VZ means the voltage, the Zener voltage. Z is the Zener voltage. And the Zener voltage is measured at the Zener um, measurement point, which is IZ, which is 20 milliamps. So at 20 milliamps, they're saying it's 
And then we did that measurement where we saw the slope of the line there. It was 5 ohms in our case, but it's 19 ohms here on the data sheet. And then we have a different uh, point where it says, okay, now we're going to measure at a quarter of a milliamp. And we're going to measure the resistance, and we get 1900. And then we're going to take a look at the reverse leakage. So when we have a little bit of current, only two microamps, we're still, uh, that's happening at a two volt, uh, negative two volts, right? And then I talked about the TC before. So there you go. That's how you read a Zener diode data sheet.